Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this very pretty crocus flower. Uh, it's pretty simple to make. It does have a lot of folding and unfolding, but I'll go slow and you can always pause the video um, and, and resume it at will. Okay, I'm starting off with a square sheet of paper that I made from American A4 8.5 by 11 printer paper. Uh, and I went ahead and I cut it into a square. I have a video on how to do this that you can look up if you need to know how to do this. It's a couple ways. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to fold it corner to corner. I'm going to make sure our corners line up well because in this particular model I think it's important that we have good folds in the beginning. So I'm going to check my corners. That goes right to the corner. That's right to the corner so I know we're good. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to fold this one again in the opposite direction. Bring it over. Got a good corner there and a good corner there. Alright, so we're off to a good start. So our paper should look like this with an X down the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and I'm going to take this top half and I'm going to fold it down to the bottom half lining up the edges. Got my corners lined up, my edge lined up. Put a good crease in it, like so. Then I'm going to open this up, rotate it, and do it again on this side. I got that, fold that down, that, and this time I'm not going to unfold it. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to pinch that last fold so that the bottom opens up, and I'm just going to push it together, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to grab the flop, push it over, and this is a collapsed square. That's what this uh, fold's called. Just going to reinforce the creases down the center. Okay, now what I have is I have the open end at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this upper flap and I'm going to fold it right to the top. Fold that down. Crease each side. Check my corners. Uh, that one's okay. Paper just bent. Got a good corner there. Now I'm going to flip the whole thing over. I'm going to do it again on this side. Take that. Go right to the top. Pull that down, good corner there, good corner there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and then I'm going to kind of reverse it. So those, those two pieces that I folded up are going to be in here. I'm going to use a finger to hold them in as I switch it around. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to take this bottom flap, I'm going to fold it up to the corner, fold it down, and all the way to the corners. And again, I have good corners. Then I'm going to flip the whole thing over and fold the last piece. Okay, so now we have this big triangle. What we're going to do is we're just going to unfold the whole thing. <laughs> just like so. Okay, so with the center part that points down, the rest of these can come up, the center point goes down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom edge and then I'm going to fold it to the center crease. And I'm actually going to do this with all four sides. So, take this bottom piece, I'm going to fold it up to the center. Crease that down, then I'm going to open it up. I'm going to do the same on this side. Push that down, and open it up. Remember I did say there was a lot of folding and unfolding? This is what I meant. Don't worry, we're going to start to put this together real soon. And fold the last side. and open that up. 
Okay, so now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take the centers of each of the sides. We're going to bring those up. Push them in, inward. The rest of the paper should kind of fall in line. Let's see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to flatten these corners. Okay. Once I have this, I'm going to flip it over. Cut it down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these corners and I'm going to fold it to the center, but only this side of the paper. I'm going to allow this bottom side to come out and not fold it. So, I'm going to take this, fold that down, right to the corner, rotate that, and I'm going to do this to all four sides. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to, as we hold this down, we're going to flip this whole thing over, once again, and those, those outer pieces, these are going to be the petals, the outer petals, these are going to be the inner petals, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a finger, or a stick, or something, and lift the center, I like to do the opposites, lift the center, and kind of pinch those. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. Bring those up, pinch them together. Sometimes you have to help the paper. It gets confused on where it should go. I like to bring them all up, pinch them down, fold them. You can kind of shape it, but that is your flower. Now another thing I like to do is I like to take a stick a skewer or some kind of stick, maybe even a uh, those soft bendy metal sticks. Those are great. And then I will just pierce it down the center. Just like so. Push this guy down. Then you have a flower on a stick. Let's see if I can come up. I'll show you how that looks. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. We'll see.